try this again. We're having a little bit of trouble with the camera this morning. Anyway, it's Friday, October 21st, and um, Jenny got released from the hospital actually on Wednesday night. I planned on filming her discharge from the hospital, but everything happened so fast that uh, I didn't get time to get the camera ready, and uh, anyway, they discharged her. They uh, pulled the staples out before they discharged her so she wouldn't have to come back for another uh, appointment to get those removed. So they pulled all the staples out for the incision. And, uh, uh, and then of course, when we left, it was so late at night when they did it that um, we wound up just staying in the truck at the hospital. Not the ideal thing to have her climbing in the in this truck, uh, but she wanted to stay with me there because we wanted to go to the 11 o'clock uh, touch time with the baby so we could hold Aurora. And uh, anyway, so we wound up going to 11 o'clock and everything, and then we stayed in the truck so we could get up early the next morning and go and do another touch time with Aurora before I had to leave out. And then uh, I wound up leaving out on Thursday morning and I'm, I'm in Tennessee right now, heading up to Pennsylvania. Um, Aurora's doing really, really well. Um, in fact, uh, originally they told us we would probably expect uh, her to be released around Thanksgiving. Then they came back and said, since she's doing so well and reaching all these milestones so quickly that we're looking at maybe two weeks uh, she'll be released which is about another week away and then they scheduled the class for Jenny that uh, well actually for both of us but I wasn't able to be there I uh, got to get out there and make some money <laughs> and uh, I plan on being back on the day that Aurora gets released so um, Looking forward to that, and, and as we get a a, uh, a better date on that, and uh, we'll try to get you updated. I plan on taking video of that too. Well, there's no problem. The other problem is I'm having some trouble with my camera. Ever since this last update, it uh, has a few issues with recording. So I hope I don't have to do this one a third time because I've already this is the second time I'm recording this. So, um, Aurora is off all medications, and this is only after nine days of being in the hospital. She's after off all medications, uh, including now the antibiotic. That was the last one, you know, they have to run the full course on the antibiotics, so we were waiting for that. And now they've taken the IVs out of her. You'll see in the video, she has IV in her foot, um, and then she has that, um, uh, blood pressure and oxygen sensor on the right foot. So it's hard to see her feet. So some of the features I was talking about in the video will be hard to see. But one thing you can see is how her eyes come all the way around to the side. I think they're beautiful. And if she opens them, uh, her her irises are, are huge. And it takes up most of the eyes. In fact, it looks like she's got no whites to her eyes. But when she turns left to right, you can actually see the whites of her eyes. Um, Uh, her fingers are kind of long you'll see that her legs are definitely long and her feet are long although I'm not sure if they're really any longer than the other babies the main thing is is that where her ankles sit her ankles actually set back towards the back of her feet just right over the heel now I looked at some of the other preemies that were in there especially ones that were born around her time frame you know the 32 33 weeks and stuff like that and their ankles are, are more centered like ours are, where there's heel behind it and then the rest of the foot in front of it. Now hers, her ankle actually sits almost directly over the heel. And I don't know if that's just one of the features of uh, her genetics or if it's just something where she's going to have to grow into. Time is going to tell on a lot of this stuff. And, uh, you know, and, and then of course, 
the when we get the DNA test and the genetics will let us know. You know, part mother, part father, and part we don't know. That's basically what they'll say is the other uh, genes that we see, we don't know where they come from. That's, uh, that's basically what you get in a DNA test. They're not going to say, oh, it's alien DNA. They don't know because they don't have any reference for other DNA, only what's available on this planet. And they have to match it with something. Otherwise, it's, it's not able to be matched up with anything. And that's what we're looking to find is where they say, well, this DNA doesn't match anything. We're not sure where this is from. But that'll be probably within the first couple of years. Uh, let me put that riser down. The sun's coming through there. So hopefully uh, we get uh, we get our release pretty quick. We're, we're really looking forward to that. And I'll update you. And another thing is Jenny's been trying to get the videos updated, uh, uploaded. She's got to put them together because we're only able to take 30 seconds here, 30 seconds there, because you're not really supposed to be filming in the NICU. But some of the nurses uh, turned their backs for us so that we could actually get a little film. Because we wanted to, to have this up sooner, but like Jenny said, it, it was better to wait until she got released from the hospital. That way there's no issues or something with us in the hospital. All right, so we'll get, I'm gonna try to get her to upload those today and uh, let y'all see Baby Aurora. It should be under, uh, where I think I'm gonna put it under like uh, presenting Baby Aurora. So watch for that video. It'll be something along those lines. I'm gonna tell her to label it that. And those will be on the uh, GoPro, so they won't be in 360 like this, but they'll be in um, a little bit higher definition than my 360 reports. So you should be able to get a pretty good uh, view of some of the things we're talking about. Now we love this girl no matter whether she's part you know, extraterrestrial or not. She is still our, our baby. We love her dearly. She is just the most precious little thing in the world. And she doesn't fuss very much. So that's a good thing. She, she barely fusses at all. We love that. But I'll get those, uh, I'll get Jenny to have those videos uploaded. And pretty soon she'll be back out on the road and she's well enough and the baby's well enough to, to be out on the road. We'll be out on the road for uh, And I can't wait to have them both with me. 